my loves, it's Jo back with another Lepin build and this time it's the nice funky camper van. I have fond memories of having a camper van just like this as a kid. It never went anywhere, it was just kind of something we played in but it was amazing. So I'm now going to build it out of boot Lego because I don't know what else to call it. Lepin. So let's get on with the build. <laughs> As you can tell, change of clothes, it's about a week later. Took me five and a half hours, but I finally has a camper van! And it's pretty damn cool. So, I will show you in detail this little bad boy. Ignore the sticker work. I need some practice. Also, don't put stickers on unless you know which way around the, the pieces of Lego have got to go because they're really hard to get back off again. But anyway, that does not distract from the fact that this is an awesome build. So, I will show you all of its little intricacies. The, the first thing I have to mention is... No, it's not doing it now. What? The wheels aren't very good. The, um, the wheel trims aren't very good. So as soon as I move this, they're probably going to fall out. So just so you know... They will end up all over the table when I move it. But apart from that, everything else is awesome. So, 
Let's start with the roof because it's the most obvious thing. Ta da! This lifts up, so that's where you would have your little bunk beds in your camper van. It's all Technic underneath and it's really cool, but it fits together really, really well. Then we've got a rack on the top, which is also quite cool. And then I will show you the inside so that the roof lifts off. And then this is full of details, so it's really hard to show on camera. Let me pop the doors open on this side and see if I can show you a bit better. See, told ya. This will probably happen all the way through, so I'll take that off now. Um, so we've got this really cool detailing of the tiled floor. It's got curtains on all the windows. We've got a little sink with the pans and stuff. There's a wardrobe over here with a cool t-shirt in the wardrobe, which you can see through the window. Which says something about, I um, can't remember what it says. Make Lego, model, uh, make Lego mo models, not war. Yeah, it's quite cool. Um, it's a little kind of hidden thing. And then we've got a wine glass at the table. The chairs move, like you can move them around. It's hard to show you. You can move them around. This, you can take the wine glass off and it flips down. So you, if you want it out of the way, you can do that too. I'm going to try and flip it back up again. Or oh, leave it till later. Or leave it till later and move the wine glass out of the way. Um, and then we've got, even got a lava lamp, it's proper 70s. You can't even see it. It's impossible to show you the detail in this thing. I need a little camera on a stick so I can show you inside. Um, and we've got a lava lamp on one side and on the other side there's a little like um, green plant. Which is cool. So... We can also open up the back, so it's got a working boot and some space in the back. But even more impressive, it's got an engine! Like, it, it serves no purpose, but it's so cool and such a lovely little detail that it's got an engine inside. And then at the front, we can open both the doors. And if I show you from this side so it's only got one wing mirror and I'm sure because we used to own a camper van that they do actually only have one one wing mirror but it's even got pedals and like a gear stick and everything it's amazing but it's just really hard to show so the only downsides I would say to this build are some of the parts because it's lepping um, are a little bit flimsy so these look fine from a distance but they're not cut very well um, the stickers are a bit of a pin in the backside, and some of the bricks don't fit together perfectly so you do end up with gaps between your bricks but as a display model it's it's just awesome look at it you can't really complain for the for the price we paid for it I mean I've never seen the original Lego one and if you've got an original Lego one please do let me know but I'm guessing because of these, because of the way that it's it's modelled off the exact same um, design, that the bits that are flimsy on this are also flimsy on the Lego model. So, but once you get it together, it's absolutely fine. So the only problem that I've got, obviously, is that the hub caps don't stay on. Um, we're probably just going to glue them. But I think I think they just need bigger studs behind them. Or bigger studs, yeah. Um, but generally. It's awesome. Look at it. Meow. And I'm really pleased with it. So if you've got any questions or you'd like to know anything else about lepping builds or if there's any lepping builds you'd like us to try, then please like and subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment down below. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.